So, Monday evening after work. Um, so, and we got this one all done. Still looking fabulous. No cracks either. Just, oh, I get nervous about walking on it, but I think it's actually fine. It's just concrete. Um, and thankfully, so it's a rubber kind of mat that goes down, which is going to be our final floor. And thankfully, today I've just been calling so many flooring people. All of them are just so busy. But I managed to find one, well, in theory, you can do it next week. So we've ordered all the flooring um, and they'll lay it. I mean, I think I could have laid it. So it's kind of like literally gluing it and cutting it. But it's really expensive flooring. And if you're rolling it out and you make the wrong cut, you, you're pretty screwed. So I think it's just best. And it only it's like 100 quid to get a fitter. So um, that's great. And then it's all guns, all guns blazing on getting this place ready to move into. Um, so there's a bit of woodwork I need to do up there, which is just basically an empty, um, it's got no like ceiling, so we can't actually use it as like a, oh, can you see? No, maybe not. Uh, a bit of woodwork up there. And then this bath, I've managed to get these. These have been relentlessly difficult to, to get on, but what, these were basically, um, these were basically all the feet on here and I couldn't fit the bath through this door with the feet on. Um, I've measured and it should fit without the feet, but I can't, I'm not strong enough to carry that through. Um, when we're looking at it, it kind of makes me start wondering whether it will fit through. But anyway, we've got to assume it's going to fit through. Um, and then, but yeah, they didn't, it's got screw holes for the legs, but they didn't screw it in. They siliconed it on. So I've got all this horrible silicon. I've just been getting off, it takes hours been doing this all evening, taking this silicon off. And then we'd need to repaint it um, and get new feet for it. And then I also, I'm also doing the plumbing for this one. Uh, so I don't think it'll be too difficult. I've kind of got all the pipes in place. Um, and then next weekend, I will make sure that I get this shower done. So, you know, it's going to develop very quickly. And the plumber's coming back next week to uh, finish off his bit. Uh, before we get the vinyl so yeah it's it's all guns blazing and then after that i'll probably see. and then that's kind of the last thing that needs to be done up here and we can actually move in we need to paint as well but that will not take too long um and do all those little bits but yeah really looking forward to it thankfully I left this um the sealant remover on basically for 24 hours and actually it kind of made it all a bit more crumbly so it's pretty much 90% off now, which is such a relief. It actually took so long. Um, and so I think that's as done as you can do on that bit. I'll have still need to do all the repainting and plumbing and whatever, but that's a relief to get all those legs sorted. So I need to order some new ones. And then tonight, I was hoping, I think I can do it tonight, to basically use this plywood up the top. Um, and just to give you an idea, I didn't go up here last time. Um, so it's basically, then you have like a little place where you're going to kind of store a few things. Um, obviously I kind of have to basically put a piece of wood across there. Um, and the measurements are mental, which kind of a show of how wonky our house is. I've just been doing it. This is just one section. It's like eight, nine feet there. And then it's 96 there, just on the right hand side of what I just showed you. So it's like 30 centimeters difference. So yeah, it's actually going to be a bit of a trickier cut. So I'm going to have to measure all the different points to make it look neat. And then I'm going to sand it down. Maybe not tonight, but and then um, and then it can be painted and then it can actually sit up there. And I think it'll be really handsome. It's just a nice little balcony area and put some plants hanging down or something like that. So yeah, that's just the first section I have to do. That's about halfway and then I'll do the rest of the other half of another piece. So yeah, wish me luck. Now I'm up here, I've got this up there. You can see what I'm trying to do. I'm gonna, oh, it's actually a bit more tricky with one hand than I thought. Basically, the idea is, put that in snugly like that. Okay, then you know that the wall isn't where my line is. Actually the wall is here. So, now I know that's where I go to. 
and then when I when I'm doing my final drawing or final cut along this wall I can just basically draw almost along here like that and I'll be able to cut along that line that I create hopefully at that stage where that's cut now potentially I mean hopefully not in the wrong place um, and then I can give you a little show let's see if this, see if this fit okay so here it is let's have a go and we just need it's gonna I want it to be snug so I don't mind if it's a bit too cut if anything it's better if it's not cut enough I can cut it Hold on. let's get it in just like that it's gonna fit. Get in there. Okay, I'm gonna need two hands for this, sorry. Okay, just too tight in there. Um, which interestingly is probably would have suited one of my other lines on there. So I'm gonna take a sliver off here um, and then hopefully, I mean that's quite pushed back to the wall and then I can do my final push in and actually you can see where my line originally went to. That's gonna be spot on down here along the seam here. So I'll get rid of some of this rubble. But yeah, a bit of trial and error. Okay, night two of this board. Use a little scribe to cut in there. So I have flush with the wall. Or if I just push it in a bit, it will be. And then I've cut along here using the edge as the guide. And it's pretty much exactly, oh, that bit's a bit overhanging. So pretty much exactly where I want it. I think this can be squidged around a little bit, but that's pretty much it. So now I'm happy that that fits. What I'm going to do is get this all sanded down, and then it can be painted as well. Um, no point actually sort um, putting it in just yet. Um, I think that'll be a bit of a no point drilling it in because um, it needs to be sanded and painted. So. Um, yeah, I'll do that next, but I'm gonna do the rest of it first before we go ahead and sand them all. I'll see if this is, but this is in here, but I don't see why it can't just sit underneath here uh, if I move all these wires. So then I can actually just put a board flat. I don't have to cut around it. So just need to think, take this screw out and then hopefully I can do that without getting electrocuted. So, fun new tool has arrived. Check this bab. Dun dun dun. So now I can just do a bit of. Hold on. Let me just try this. Okay, I think I've got to kind of go from this angle and pull down. Oh yeah. That's superb. Now I can reach all my skylights. Lovely, lovely stuff. Beautiful day, too. Huzzah. Finally, actually did it. Um, it's a little overhanging there, but they can they have a bit of wiggle room, and also I can sand it back a bit. But um, it's pretty good, and it's obviously not screwed down. So when it gets screwed down, it gets much tighter. Um, amazingly difficult just to put some plywood on top. I thought it'd be an easy job. So I'm at, if you can see, a sweat on me. It's so hot up here. Um, it's actually hotter at the top of the room here. I've got my head. Um, yeah, and then the last bit is I need to find. I need to do a triangle, which is going to just test my skills to the max. Um, I guess I'm just going to get a bit of GCSE maths out, I think. Because um, the three angles always add up to, I think it's 180 degrees. So, you know, maybe I can use knowledge and uh, cut out a bit of plywood. But the key thing with doing all the plywood and stuff, to be able to move up here, A, I need to be in here for so long, um, and I, but I needed to put it up here so can't clear it until I've chopped it down to what I need. Um, and then, yeah, once I get all those clear, then we have a bit more of a clear room to work with, which is gonna be a massive improvement. That's the door I painted the other day. Um, the two coats of primer, because it's like a new door, so it just soaks in the primer. Um, but yeah, I need to kind of do a similar thing with these guys, um, sand them right back. Look at the state of this one. Um, that one's a bit better state, but I think they'll look the same once you sand them back. Um, and then prime them and hopefully I can give these a bit more of a rounded edge here. Um, so yeah, hopefully I can do all that this afternoon. Um, and that's another one ticked off the list.